In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Warcraft 2 over the internet with friends. So this video will assume that you've already watched my video on how to set up Warcraft 2 in Defend, so make sure you watch that if you haven't already before you follow these steps. So first of all, you need to open your browser and go to yang-online.com and click the downloads link and then you can either choose the installer file or the no installer file it doesn't really make a difference here so I'll just do the no installer I'll jump to the end of the download here okay so the download is just completed I'll open the folder and just get that file on my desktop and I'll extract it and so now we'll just open up Yang And this is how Yang looks. You just go to the settings, source ports, go to the DOSBox tab, click I have DOSBox, and then click locate. And you want to go to your defend reloaded folder and open the DOSBox folder within it. And then choose DOSBox. And then for the use following configuration file as a base, put a check mark there and that file we need to create a configuration file so open up your computer and go into your DOSBox folder within Defend and you'll see a file called DOSBox 0.74 options a batch file you'll want to open up that file and you'll see it has all the options you can edit so you can set full screen to true if you do that then it'll just launch in full screen otherwise if you leave it false you can just hit alt enter after launching the game to get it there and then if you scroll down here you see core equals auto you want to change that to simple and then click save as and here you can name it what you want I'll call mine Warcraft 2 and then make sure you put in dot bat if you don't remember to do that then you'll end up saving it just as a text file and it won't have any functionality so also make sure that you save it to a a decent spot in your computer I like to just save these bat files in the original DOSBox folder so I'll put it there and save and start closing out of things so back on Yang we will locate that file open and then now we'll move on to the custom DOS games tab you'll click the green button to add a profile I'll name that Warcraft 2 and click locate and now you'll find your Warcraft 2.exe file or war2.exe that is the launch file make sure you have use uh, the, the multiplayer selection being the same and then click the bullet point for mount a CD-ROM you'll select that and go to just like you did in defend you're going to select the game folder itself as your CD and click OK and hit OK. So now go into settings multiplayer and networking and here you can select a nickname that you want and in-game nickname to use You've got the sound notifications I like to turn those all on and networking there's this TCP port number you need to open 8501 so you'll go into your browser and type in 192.168 dot one dot one uh, some routers might be dot might be a zero dot one so just uh, try typing in different ones and get, find the one that works and so the login screen for it uh, typically the username and password is admin or you'll have a username admin and no password uh, it differs from router to router so you'll have to look into what yours is 
once you log in, then over here, you'll need to go to your port forwarding. Now, again, every router is going to display differently here. For me, I have to go to advanced setup, and then I click on NAT. And in NAT, has virtual server setup. So this is my port forwarding screen. So I'll click add, and then I'll select the custom service, and I'll just type in Warcraft 2 as the profile name for this one. And then the port, type in 8501 and 8501, and then you also need to set your IP address in here. At least I need to in mine. So to look up your IP address, you go to start, go to run and type CMD, and then type in ipconfig, and scroll up to find the line that says IPv4 address, and that is your IP address. Now, you can always set yourself a static IP address so it never changes. Personally, I don't like to do that just because if you set one that another computer in the house could end up taking, then you have an IP address conflict and then you have to deal with those problems. So I just update it if my IP address changes. Most of the time it stays the same. So we'll type that in here. 102 and apply and save. And some rotors they may have a checkbox for you to activate the port that you've opened. In my case I don't, it's just already open and I have a remove box instead. So let's close everything and get back to Yang here. So actions and you see your options here. To be a host you'll select create a room and then it has a couple settings here. You'll select your Warcraft 2 profile and you can set the number of players. So I'll just put that down to two and you can set other restrictions, max ping, you can use null modem, I don't use that. You may want to have advertise room checked and you can enable password protection and so got the security alert, I'll just hello access. So here we've created room and it's trying to connect to the server right now. And it's successfully connected. So now I'm just going to go to my laptop and I will join in as GameChamp Laptop. There we go, I've got GameChamp Laptop connected as a client computer. And so now, uh, and I've clicked ready on there, so now I can just click launch game. And it launches the game for all players in the room. the host so you go to multiplayer and then you type in your username so I'm putting in game champ hit OK and then you need to select IPX network and then connect and then create game and there we are then on the laptop I will just join into this room alright so I've joined in and I click ready and now I can start the game. And there we are. And because it's using the configuration file we set, the scrolling is fine. It's not high speed. And you'll see in the speed options there that the options are still the same as when you played through Defend. So that's how you can host the game. Now I will just close out of this and I'll show you how it looks for the client side who, for a player that's joining a room. So I'll just create the room on my laptop. Also in order for me to host on the laptop I have to change the IP address in my router for the IP address my laptop has. So now just you can select custom games or all games and uh, then click get list of rooms and it'll refresh. Uh, mine looks like it just automatically refreshed when I selected all games. So 
uh, just open up the game that was opened there, set the profile I want to use for playing it, and then I'll click ready, and on the host laptop I will just click launch, and you see how it launches it on my computer here. And so now on the laptop I'll do the creating the room and I'll set my name, choose IPX Network. There's the game that my laptop is hosting so I will click join and then I just click ready and then the host hits start game and there we are able to host or join a game through Yang to play multiplayer online with friends. So I hope this helps and enjoy playing Warcraft with your friends.